A few weeks ago, I did a video where I used group buttons to quickly hide and unhide rows, and a load of people asked me how to create them. They're actually an old feature that's super useful when you need to repeatedly hide and unhide rows or columns. I often use them to temporarily reduce the number of visible columns when working with large workbooks. And they're super easy to set up, so let's take a look. You can manually group rows and columns by selecting the ones that you want to group, and then on the data tab of the ribbon, over in the far right, we've got group. Now you need to make sure you have at least one empty row between each set of rows or columns that you want to group, otherwise they'll end up all being grouped together. And then simply repeat as required. I've got a few here, let's just finish them off. This one only has one row to group. And lastly, the end row of group. You can also group columns. For example, I might want to group this and that's going to enable me to quickly hide and unhide that one column. Now with both row and column groupings, you can add up to eight levels. So for example, if I wanted to group all of these rows so that I could hide those rows and just see the grand total, I can select them all and group them. You can see now I have three levels of groupings. It's currently fully expanded, so we're viewing the third level. If we collapse it to the second level, now I can just see each system. And if I collapse it to level one, I can see just the grand total. We can expand and collapse automatically clicking these high level numbers. So for example, I can quickly get to the last level by pressing three. I can collapse them individually, clicking on the minuses or even just on the stalk underneath the minus. And likewise, the rows and columns work in the same way. So I can click one to collapse that column, click the plus to expand it, or I can click number two to go down to that second level. You can remove the group buttons by selecting the rows that you want to ungroup. So let's expand them all. Let's say I want to ungroup this section, simply select it and then go up to the data tab and ungroup. Now when I collapse to level two, this group is still exposed because it doesn't have a grouping at that level. Alternatively, you can clear all groupings by going to ungroup and then clear outline. And now you can see it's back to how it was before I started. There's also an option to automatically insert groups. It works by identifying summary rows or columns in your data. That is rows or columns that have formulas calculating a subtotal. As you can see here, I've got a subtotal at each system change. To do this again on the data tab, go over to group and on the drop down, choose auto outline. You can see it's detected where those groupings should be with the exception of this one here, which only has one level in its group. So we can manually group that one and we want to group at the row level. You can see it's only identified two levels. I don't have a grand total, so that makes sense. If your data is in a tabular layout, like I have here, then you can use the subtotal tool to automatically group and outline your data and add subtotal rows. I should point out though that this doesn't work if your data is formatted in an Excel table. So my data here isn't in a table. So with the cell selected, again on the data tab, I can go up to the subtotal button. In the dialog box, I get to choose at each change in, it's defaulted to system and that's the one that makes sense. That's the first grouping. So at each change in system, I want to sum the volume and it's going to replace current subtotals. I don't have any, but that's handy to have it checked just in case you're rerunning this process on data that's already had subtotals added. And I want to put the summary below the data. That is the subtotals below each group. Click OK. And you can see that we've got these new subtotal formulas at each change in the system. Now I could do this again selecting all the data subtotal and then ask it to add a subtotal at each change in the action sum the volume. I don't want to replace current subtotals. I want to add new ones. Click OK. So now I have a buy total, a sell total and a total for the system group. All that said, however, I think pivot tables are a better way to summarize your data because they don't change the layout of your original source data. As you can see here with subtotal, it's inserted rows, it's inserted text and formulas. And that renders this data a little bit less useful. Whereas pivot tables are much more flexible 
and you can do more than just add subtotals. Now, if you do work with group data, there are a few tips that you might find useful. For example, I can copy summary levels of the data. So we zoom up to level two. I can select this data and then control G to open the go to dialog and then special. Here I can choose visible cells only. And you can see only the rows that are visible are selected. Control C to copy. And then I can paste just that data that I've copied. So you can paste this as values. And now we have just the visible data pasted. Now you might want to send the workbook to someone as a report and you don't want them to see the detailed data. We can easily hide the outline symbols so they can't use them via the file tab and then options under advanced options and almost towards the bottom display options for this workbook show outline symbols if an outline is applied so if we deselect that and click OK now the outline symbols are all hidden of course this simply hides the rows so you'd need to protect the workbook if you really didn't want them to be able to unhide those rows which you can do via the review tab and then protect sheet and I'll put a link to that tutorial in the video description I hope you find group and outlines useful. You can download the Excel file for this lesson from the link here. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.